Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hasham Ali Khan. So this is the last and final video on regression analysis. So in this last video, two more problems I am going to explain you. That is ninth and tenth problem. So this will be the end of the topic regression analysis. Hope my regular viewers who are continuously watching all the videos got acquainted, complete command on this regression analysis. So don't join in between, watch from beginning till the end. Then only you can be able to have a good command on regression analysis. So before starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So always keep ready the problems. Take a screenshot of the solution of 9th and 10th problem. Then I'll give the complete explanation. Come on, see the ninth one. Find the two regression equations from the following data. So two series are given, x values are given, y values are given. We have to find out the two regression equations. Also estimate the value of y when the value of x is 123. x is given and we have to find out the value of y. So we have to use the regression equation y on x. But before that, first we'll make the two regression equations x on y and y on x. So as usual calculations for regression equations x values are given in the problem y values are given in the problem. Don't make the other columns first of all find out the actual mean. So total of x is 793 and total of y is 318. After calculating the totals find out the mean x bar. x bar is equal to summation x by n that is 793 divided by 9. 9 values are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. n is equal to 9. So 793 divided by 9, 88.11. That means the means are in fraction. So we will take the deviations from assumed mean, not actual. So here y bar, 318. 318 divided by 9, we are getting 35.33. So both the actual mean is in fraction. So we we'll take the deviations from assumed. Let the assumed mean of x be 88. Actually we are having 88.11. One of the value in x series you can see 88 is there. So we can take the assumed mean of x as 88. And assumed mean of y be 35. Actually 35.33. Take any value which is nearest to the actual mean. Then your calculations will be less. Otherwise, if you have taken other value as a student may, may get, the, get the doubt. Why you have taken 88 sir? Why you have not taken 72? We can take 72 also. We will get the same answer. But the time will increase. If you want to reduce the time. If you want to do easy calculations. Take the assumed mean which is nearest to the actual mean. Actual mean 88.11. So I have taken assumed mean as 88. Here it is 35.33. I have taken 35. Now we take the deviations. dx is equal to x minus a. x minus 88. So what is x here? 72 minus 88 minus 16. 79 minus 88 minus 9. 82 minus 88 minus 6. Like this you can turn the deviations. Summation dx 1. Then dy. dy is equal to y minus a. a is 35. Assume mean of y series is 35. So y 25 minus 35 minus 10. 33 minus 35 minus 2. 42 minus 35 7. Like this you find out the deviations. Summation dy is equal to 3. Now square it. dx square. So 16 into 16 256. 9 square 81. 6 square 36. Like this you square it. Take the total 1525. Now dy square, how much is dy here? 10. 10 into 10, 100. 2 twos are 4, 7 7 are 49, 5 5 are 25. Like this square all, you will get 425 total. Summation dy square. Now dx into dy. Here dx, here dy. Minus 16 into minus 10. Minus into minus will become plus. 16 into 10, 160. 
But minus into plus will become minus 42. Remember, you should be very careful regarding the calculations. I can't help if you commit any mistake in calculations. And you cannot, uh, you can do perfect calculations only by practice. I told you again and again, simply watching the video, listening the lecture is not the end of the matter. You will not get 100% perfect knowledge until and unless you practice yourself after watching after listening the video you got the points all the points how to calculate the regression coefficient take a piece of paper can make your own calculations if you commit a small mistake like taking minus instead of plus or plus instead of minus the whole calculations will go wrong that's why be careful regarding calculations now 7 6 of 42 minus 42 0 into 5 0 7 into 10 70 14 into 7 plus into minus is minus 98 like this here minus into minus plus minus into plus is minus take the total 178 so we got all the totals now we find the regression coefficient bxy and byx the regression coefficient of bxy when we have taken the deviations from assumed mean, the formula is this one. Summation dx dy minus summation dx into summation dy by n divided by summation dy square minus summation dy whole square by n. This is for dxy. dx dy is 178 and dx into dy, dx into dy is 1 into 3, 1 into 3 divided by 9 dy square dy square is 425 minus dy dy is 3 3 square by 9 so 178 minus 1 into 3 3 3 divided by 9.33 425 minus 3 3 is a 9 9 by 9 is 1 now you subtract you will get bxy 0.419 so one regression coefficient we got the second regression coefficient of y on x byx the numerator will remain same for bxy and byx the numerator will remain same summation dx dy minus summation dx into summation dy by n denominator it will become dx squared here it is dy squared for xy it is dy squared for yx it is dx squared dx squared minus dx whole square by n so 178 minus 0.33 same thing I have copied numerator is same denominator dx squared 1525 minus dx dx is 1 1 square by 9 so it will become 177.67 divided by 1 square by 9 means 1 by 9 1 by 9 is 0 0.11 so ultimately b by x 0.1165 we got the two regression equation and two regression coefficients now we can find out regression equation regression equation x and y x minus x bar is equal to bxy into y minus y bar x bar and y bar means actual mean not assumed mean the actual means are 88.11 and 35.33 so 88.11 and 35.33 and bxy is 0.419 from here open the bracket 0.419 into y minus 0.419 into 35.33 14.80327 now bring this take this 88 to RHS it will become minus 88 to plus 88 now finally regression equation x is equal to 0.419 y plus 73.307 88.11 minus 14.80327 you get this one. so regression equation of x on y completed now regression equation of y on x y minus y bar is equal to byx into x minus x bar y bar is 35.33 x bar is 88.11 byx is 0.1165 open the bracket 0.1165 into x minus 0.1165 into 88.11 10.23265 take this 35 to rhs minus 35 will become plus 35 now finally y is equal to 0.1165x plus 35.33 minus 10.265 you will get 25.065 we 
we have calculated the two regression equations x on y and y on x lastly it is asking you to estimate the value of y when the value of x is 123 why we have to ascertain x value given so we need the equation y on x the regression equation y on x it is here y is equal to 0 0.1165 into x plus 25.065 now in place of x i am substituting this 1 to 3 multiply 0 0.1165 into 1 to 3 14.32795 plus 25.6 add up 39.3945 39.3945 is the estimated value of y when the x value is 123. That's it. This is the end of problem number 9. Last and final problem. Obtain the two regression lines. Regression equations or regression lines means same. Two regression lines from the following term. Aptitude score and productivity index. So we denote aptitude score as x and productivity index as y. So x values are given, y values are given. Estimate the, li estimate the likely value of aptitude score for a given productivity index of 81. If y is given 81, what is the value of x? So in order to find out x, we need regression equation x on y. I am not going to solve this problem. I am giving this problem to you for your practice. But final answer I am giving you. See here. In this 10th problem. Summation x you are getting 5.503. Summation y you are getting 519. dx7, dy7, dx square, dy square, dx dy. x bar. When you calculate mean x bar you are going to get 62.875. And y bar you are getting 64.875. Both the means are in fraction. So we can take the deviations from assumed mean. So here actual mean 62.875. So let the assumed mean of x be 62. And assumed mean of y be 64. Because 62 and 64 are near, very near to the actual mean. So I have taken. So you must also take the same thing. First you draw two columns. X column and Y column x column total you will get this one y column you will get calculate the mean value then write this sentence then open all the columns dx column dy column dx square dy square dx dy you will get all these values then bxy regression coefficient of x on y this formula here the formula is bxy is equal to this formula you apply substitute all the values you will get bxy 0.496 Similarly, BYX, regression coefficient of Y on X, apply this form. Substitute all the values, you will get BYX as 1.142. You got BXY, you got BYX. Now find out the regression equation of X on Y. X minus X bar is equal to BXY, Y minus Y bar. Apply this equation, you will get this equation. X is equal to 0.496Y plus 30.697. This is the answer you will get for regression equation x on y. For y on x, y is equal to 1.142x minus 6.92825. So these two are the answers, regression equation of x on y and y on x. Lastly, it is asking you to estimate the aptitude score x. x is likely value of aptitude score x is equal to how much? When productivity index y is 81. Productivity index is denoted as y y is given 81 x is the aptitude score that is denoted as x not given we have to find out so we apply the regression equation x on y apply this regression equation x on y and substitute in place of y 81 you will get the answer x is equal to 70.873 so 70.873 is the aptitude score when the productivity index is 81. That's it. So totally 10 problems I have explained on this topic of regression analysis. Each and every point I have explained. Remember, only listening, watching the videos is not sufficient. Particularly in the subject of statistics for management. You need practice. I told you in the last video also. If you want to learn swimming, just a standing 
outside the swimming pool and seeing how the people are swimming you cannot learn it if you want to learn you have to practice you have to enter into the water and try to swim yourself then only you can similar is the case for statistics simply watching listening no matter doesn't uh, give any effect to you no benefit take the notebook take a rough paper try to solve it yourself after watching this video ha huh? if you are stuck at any point again you revert back come back to the video and see what i am telling how to calculate in this way you can be able to learn so my best wishes that you will become perfect on the subject of statistics for management score good in examination and take more and more interest in the subject inshallah we'll continue the next topic in the next video